Hello one and all, this is Hybrid Steel. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. Today, what does it mean I don't have any locations? Right, give me a sec. <gasps> there we are. Yes. yes, we're going to go and do a barn today. Click on the barn. Yes, barn. <laughs> there we go. We're gonna, this is our first barn hunting. You're coming with me. We're going to see what it's like together. Okay, so this is a big risk for me. The reason why this is a big risk is because this is a barn. that I've had to use one of, I had to use the only one that I found in here. Okay, uh, so I'm going to show you around. So first off, as you can notice, we have a torch. And the barns are a little bit bigger. I mean, this actually looks like a proper barn now instead of just a tin shanty house. Actually looks all right, doesn't it? So let's have a look around then, shall we? Ooh, junk. <gasps> cool. This is cool. I'm, I like this. It's a little bit more higher quality stuff as well instead of the junkyard stuff. Let's have a look. Ooh. Smexy. Ah, yes. Yeah. So always make sure you're looking at all the stuff. Because if you don't look at all the stuff, then... Oh, just another bot. It's another wall. But there's another rack. Oh, wow. The Edgewood Hellcat. Nice. I can't wait to get one of those in the garage. Wow. I mean, this is massive in comparison to what we've played before. Like, in a barn... What? Okay, so... Barns normally they they weren't this bad they weren't this big before but man this is good to give us that little bit of extra variety this is quite exciting I'm gonna be honest I like this this is fun there's more little box oh yeah <laughs> nice look at this hood is so cool I want to see the car that came off please so there's gonna be stuff in here that you're gonna be wanting as well like if you're looking for stuff and you and you don't really want to go to the junkyard you want to try and like take a risk and come over here. You might find what you're looking for in a in a barn. You never know. We'll take. Well, I'm taking all the green parts. The reason why is just because money is very important. Okay. Well, we'll go around the other side now. I've got to the top of this side. Now I'm gonna go down the other side. Yeah, because that's how we do it. The prize is. Always, oh wow, there's one there. Oh, there's a car. I'm almost scared to go near it because it's like, don't start it or I'll run away. What is it? It's on bricks. That's not a good sign. This looks. Wow. Look at the decal. What are you? A bolt supernova. Dude! It's done 239,000 miles, though. Puzzle bit. Wow, look at this. Look, 90s. I never. I don't think I've ever found, like, m many in the way of, like... I've never found really barn finds with more than, like, 60% stuff on before. Or have I? And I just can't remember. I'm getting old. That's what happened. 17... Oh, my God. So that's probably a... Re I don't know, 17 grand for a car. I suppose... Being it's still got some good parts on it, it's probably decent. I like this though. So one thing that we can do in the right in the top right hand corner, we've got our salvage parts, and we can upgrade parts. That's where these come to mind. Even though the durability on this is absolutely crud, this has been upgraded two times, which means it's a fundamentally it's a more expensive part. It's another thing that we got to start looking out for when it comes to like buying parts. If these three star rating part means that the part is a better quality, even though it might be ruined. These parts might be worth like getting back to the shop and going, hey, we can repair this and make some extra cash off. Or it increases the value of the car we're working on. I like all the little nooks and crannies in these things. Even if like this is the bog standard size for a barn, I, I'm looking forward to all the layouts they're going to be putting in and stuff. I think this, it, is, it is just pretty cool. It really is. There we go. So let's have a look. This is a Sakura Supra. Oh, it's a Toyota Supra. I like Toyota Supras. I've been a fan of Toyota Supra for so, so, and there's so many good parts on this car. Downside is probably going to be like, what, 20 grand? Jesus, it's 41,000. <laughs> How many? It's got to have like low mileage, isn't it? Oh, it's on 118,000 miles. It's almost still 20 grand. Jesus. But that's pretty cool. First one in. And so we've got some parts. We haven't got enough money for a car. Like, we, we just cannot afford a car. But. We got some parts. Well, I'll probably end up flogging them to try and make a little bit of extra cash, you know, because it's pretty much all I'm in for. And we found a case as well, so that's all good. Return to the shop. This one cost me sixteen hundred. Okay, not too bad. Buy the parts, and we get to open a case. Ah, oh, back to the garage. Right. So we spent sixteen hundred on this, so we need to be up to like we need to be above ten thousand four hundred, because I'm literally going to sell it all off. I know I never really keep parts, I just sell. Okay, we lost 300, but I found a case. Ooh, so we've got bonus uh, scrap. 
And we got some bonus XP. Get in. Another good way of earning XP right there. Okay, so that was a barn find. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you sort of got to see what it was firsthand before venturing in yourself. So, yeah, barns open and unlock at level 10 because uh, it's level 5 for the junkyard, level 10 for the barns, and level 15 for the car auctions. And, uh, yeah, that's where I'm heading now. I've, I need to get to level 15. Then I can mess around and do the joys of YouTube. But, yeah, thank you very much for kicking by. This has been Hybrid Steel. If you have liked this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates, and I'll be back here with a brand new video, live stream, or whatever else I do on this channel. If you have liked this video, consider becoming a member. Clicking the little join button underneath this video, you pay £2 a month to this channel, or you can pay 4 99 that's purely up to you, and it helps feed me, or whatever else I need on this channel, so like screens and PC parts and everything else. So thank you very much for kicking by, I'll see you on another one. Peace out, have fun, and enjoy everything you guys do. Bye bye for now.